All right, hello folks, welcome back. We are at day four of AWS reInvent. It feels like it's been day 342. Um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a, yeah. We, yeah, I stopped realizing what day it was probably on the first day and then <laughs> I just, now it's today. I have no idea where I am. I, so. have, I have to constantly re-look at my watch to go, oh, it's just Thursday, oh no. And, and, my, and the battery supply is running low, both on my watch and, I, yeah. and in, my, in my body. Um, Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. My name is Chris Williams, Principal Cloud Solutions Architect and Cloud Therapist for WWT Technologies and AWS Hero. With me, I am very excited to, to bring with, to the, to the V Brown Bag somebody that, I, that I've been chatting with for, for a long period of time now. Um, Brooke, would you like to introduce yourself? I always hoped, as a side note, uh, that when I did V Brown Bag, I would get to sit in like a large brown bag or something <laughs> like I always hoped that's what this was about. This, she's going to be wearing a sack lunch. A but a brown giant, bag, a yeah. A giant, giant brown bag sack lunch um, for, for the next presentation. Right, yes. Right. Uh, definitely I'll be more prepared next time. But hi, <laughs> on that note, I'm Brooke Jamison. I'm a senior developer advocate at AWS um, and I am an ex-hero, which is how I know Chris. An ex-hero. She, she, she has the distinction of being the shortest lived hero by, by one month. You were a hero for one month. Machine learning hero for one month. Yeah, still a regular hero. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, then she got hired by AWS and was immediately stripped of the hero accolade, uh, but got a, got a job with AWS and moved to New York City. Yeah, definitely. So I'm from Australia, now living in New York City. Wonderful. Okay, so this is our V Brown Bag person on the street interview. Uh, we've got two questions, same two questions everybody else has had. Uh, first question is, what announcement are you most excited about here for reInvent? I'm going to level with you. Uh, I haven't been in any of the keynotes <laughs> because I've been filming videos, I've been doing my sessions, and quite literally running around this establishment. So my biggest announcement is that uh, I'm tired. <laughs> That's the one I'm most excited about. We, we do so much behind the scenes and it's all happening. Yeah. So I really, for me, the week after reInvent is when I'll get stuck in and really figure out what's come out and how it all fits together because we just we don't have time this week. I, I, have, I have to say, for as much content as we put out, you put out an obscene amount of content. It's it's fantastic. It's yeah. so high quality. I'm, I don't know how you do it. I love the fairy wand. It's yeah. it's it's absolutely amazing. Um, okay, so yeah, the, the announcement, announcement. That, your announcement is that you're very tired. Okay, yeah. you don't look tired though. You look. I mean, everyone's doing their best. That's all we can do. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, question number two. What what do you hope to leave reInvent with? And and this is this is totally broad spectrum. Um, somebody said socks. Somebody said not COVID. Uh, somebody from Canada said children's Tylenol because right. yeah. So uh, what, what would you like to leave reInvent with? All of those with? are solid answers. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's really been getting to meet people in person in the U.S. market. So I'm from Australia, as I said, um, and now I'm on the North American team here at AWS and. I hadn't gotten to meet a lot of the customers and builders locally yet, so it's really been great for me to do that already and get to meet so many people I only knew online and really get to know the industries here, the different types of use cases, because obviously technology is global, but there are definitely geographic trends, mm. and it's, there's only so much of this you can do online, so it's been really good to network in person and understand what problems builders are having so we can help them solve them. Yeah, if, if it hadn't been for a serendipitous trip to Seattle, you and I would have actually met for the first time here. Right. Even even though we we've, we've, we've I, I feel like I know you because we've chatted so much, but yeah. this would have been the first time, which is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, there's so many people that I just had never met in person before. Mm. Yeah. Cool, all right. Well, um, thank you for your announcement excitation. <laughs> I appreciate you, you coming on to be Brownback. And, uh, we are looking forward to having you on the regular podcast of the V Brown Bag, the weekly event. Now that you're in the correct time zone, you can actually do one in, in the evening and not, and not have to wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah, moving to the US, there's been a lot of perks and definitely one of them is no longer doing podcast interviews and conference talks at four and five in the morning. Yeah, totally, absolutely. Awesome, well Brooke, thank you very much, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.